it's not recording. So I'll uh, it, so today uh, we will be going through. Uh, yesterday, uh, what we tried to understand like how cloud evolves, and uh, why people are preferring to move their services or the application which were there in their own data center, which, which we call is on premise, on premise, right? Which you call yes, sir, on premise. On premise. Premise anyway, you know, right? On a premise is like my house. Like suppose you have an individual house, you have a personal. So that house, lots of houses are there. So this is the houses. And suppose you are staying here. So this is your premise. Suppose you are owner of this house. Right? You can't uh, go and stay in other house and all this without the permission. So yes, my, yes, this is my premises and it is kind of on premise. Like on the premises, my data servers are there or any servers is there. Where I am hosting application, or maybe we, where we are deploying it. So people started moving from here to where to cloud. Cloud, cloud okay. doesn't means like uh, things will be in the cloud, actual cloud. Cloud means like sharing your resources over the internet, as I told you yesterday, right? And now, now if you go to a uh, Google and uh, you write like uh, what is what is cloud as a definition, if you want to write, so you can see the definition. This is the definition of a, of Wikipedia. And uh, what is cloud? Uh, cloud see what the cloud uh, definition is given by AWS. You can see the name AWS, means Amazon. Web yes, sir. Amazon Web Service. Yeah, this is a full form. So now, if you see uh, what is the definition, you, cloud computing. You leave this computer. Computer is nothing but a calculation, or maybe any process in the cloud the server will do some processing right suppose if yes, you sir. hit something click a button then it will reply with you uh, you with some new pages suppose i am suppose i am clicking this this is an icon if i click this then the, it, the request go to server and it has replied me, me this some page home page if yes, i go here this is click so that means what i am requesting and it is giving my reply right Oh, okay, sir. Yes, yeah. so this is what computing computer means, com means doing something. Computer, you know, right? Calculation, calculation is what calculator does some calculation, means it is doing something, some calculations like two yes, plus sir. three is equal to. I don't know the results, so it will give me back five. So I will get an oh, if I add two and three together, it will give me five, right? Yes, so sir. Like that. So now we'll read to uh, read the definition and we'll try to map our understanding, whatever we read yesterday with the definitions which they have given you see cloud computing you just ignore this word computing as of now you will understand as yes. a high level i've told you the cloud company is an on-demand delivery oh, see each word has a mean on demand on demand whenever i need i demand it right so now if i need one yeah. for now in two minutes i can get a server which i'll show you later okay, mm, okay. so this is called on demand so on demand, but earlier days, what used to happen if I demanded one server and if I need one server, then I have to order the server will come through some truck or some uh, delivery boy, or I have to buy them by going to the market. So it will take some another suppose four or five days. Then I have to employ somebody to configure the servers in that hardware. We need to yes, um, like, uh, like um, install operating system in that server and then some application, then some networking related stuff. So it will take a month time in general, or maybe more also. Okay. So that was yes, on demand that we can't call it on demand. That is time taking, right? So this means cloud is the on demand delivery of white IT resources, IT resources in the sense, IT resource company, are, uh, not IT okay. resource and IT company is different resource. I told you yesterday, right? What do you mean by resource? Resource means servers or laptops. Yes, sir. CPU, yes, sir. Memory and uh, storage, right? these are resources. RAM, RAM and uh, RAM. processor. Uh, processor. Okay. Yes. Uh, and networking also, because internet, we need to have port switches and all those. You need to have a router. Yes, in your house yes. also, suppose, you, have, uh, you might have router, right? Yes, sir. Uh, without router. So that is also a resource. What type of resource? It is an IT resource. Like information mm. technology resource. Okay, these wordings are very important. Once you understood, right? So you you will get some holistic view of uh, your understanding. So cloud is the on-demand delivery of IT resources over the internet. As I told, over the internet means you need one internet connection. Without yes, internet, 
if I remove the internet, I will not be able to access Gmail. I will not be able to access any Google search or anything, right? Over the news with pay as you go pricing. What do you mean by pay as you go pricing? Pay as you go means what? Pay as you go means whatever you need, pay for that. You don't have to pay for all the services which AWS. Earlier, I was showing you one diagram, right? Suppose, uh, suppose this is one uh, data center and this is one room where lots of servers is there. So as yes, a, like, um, what was the name of that? I forgot. Um, uh, some deal, right? Uh, snap deal. Uh, snap deal. Uh, correct. Yeah. So snap deal was going in good and all those, right? But after a few years, it got uh, crashed and it is not. So now, whenever you are using all resources, suppose three, three plus three plus three, I'm using nine resources, right? So if I am using nine resources, when my business is going good, so I am happy. But suppose the business is not going good. So I'm only using these four resources instead oh, okay. of four plus four plus four, 12. So instead of 12 resources, I'm only using four resources. So what is happening? Even though I have 12 resources, but I can't use because there is no need. There is no user interaction. No customer is uh, um, giving their order in Snapdeal, right? So that means what? Even though I'm using four, but I have to pay for all the 12, right? Because I have mm. to uh, switch on all the servers, give electricity, then uh, ACs will be there. Some maintenance guy will be there. Okay. So, all these are there. so that is the reason like, um, this is not called pay as you go. Pay as you go means suppose I am using four. So then I will only pay for only four servers. I am using only one server, suppose this one, then I will pay for only one server, not for all, right? That yes, is yes, that pay as you. Now suppose the market is going down, so I don't need this. So since in the cloud, I will not renting this, the cloud will not charge money for this four plus four, it, it will charge only for this four, then I will be happy. Now suppose later, after two months of time, my business is decreased, uh, has decreased more. So then I don't need four, I need only two. So then I will tell, the cloud, uh, AWS cloud, the, hey, I don't need four server. I know only two server because my work has reduced. So I need, so he will tell, okay, fine. You don't have to pay rent for four. You have to pay rent for only two, right? So this is called what? This is called pay as you go. Means as you are using, whatever you are using, pay for that only. Understood? Mm -hmm. okay. yes. Yeah. Now suppose tomorrow, tomorrow my business is increasing. So I need insert two, I need four. I might need 40 servers, then I will directly ask them and uh, AWS will provide me 40 servers because they have a very large stock of servers uh, for usage. So they will give me 40 servers and it will ask that whatever you are using, you pay for pay the rent for that, right? And suppose you think a scenario now, this is AWS, you are a, like owner of AWS. So who is the owner of AWS? Do you know? Jeff Bobbis is the owner of AWS. Oh, sir, J Jack? Jeff Bozes. You see, I think the owner. Who is the owner of AWS? See, this guy. CEO, CEO. Not this guy. CEO is, you see, founder, Jeff. Bezos, you can see this. Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Jeff so he is the owner, and CEO is Andy Jesse is the CEO. That means that Jeff Bezos is the like owner, and he has employed yeah. one guy whose name is Andy Jesse as a yes. CEO, Ch uh, chief uh, engineering officer or uh, something, some highest post. Okay, CEO, executive officer, chief executive officer. Yes, okay, sir. so he's the owner, and he and uh, he is the owner, and he will direct this guy to run the company the way this guy wants because he is the owner. He is a, like Malik we call right in Hindi or like owner, right? Mm, so yes. uh, that, that guy is the owner. So so now you get it, right? Now there might be a question in your mind. Okay, sir, uh, tell me, suppose now I am a company, means I have a company and I need only two servers. Suppose this server and this server. And AWS has a multiple servers. You can see so, so many values, some many thousands and lakhs servers will be there. What will happen to the other server? So like that, I am one user who is using two servers. AWS might get other customers or other users or other consumers to rent other services, other servers, right? Yes, Correct. So, so yes, think that AWS is a shop 
where I am buying two servers uh, for rent and other customer like uh, my friend or your friend or your colleagues will buy other servers. So AWS is getting rent for each and every services or each and every server. Understood? Yes, sir. Yeah. So now there are two words which I am often using service and server. So by, by now, ACRVER, you might have a clear idea. What is the difference? Can you tell me the difference of service and server? Service meaning uh, like uh, which we give, sir. Like uh, if we have something and we are giving, we are giving some money, it's called service. Okay. And server meaning uh, it's like uh, server meaning like uh, what we gave, you know, sir. Like our like uh, our one of one server we gave to them, like uh, like big brother of laptop, like high uh, yeah, yeah, yes, sir, like that. Right. So, so that is server, correct. So, so, so if you see in this G, uh, cloud, right, uh, or maybe this Gmail, these are what? These are called services. Services. Uh. Yeah, these are the services offered by who? By this guy, Google. 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 Uh. Okay. So, this you can tell services in a layman who doesn't know anything about computer and all those as a, like a features or a, like, offerings or like, um, like, um, like app. All these are what services, right? Different, so the, yes, sir. Are different, different apps. Or maybe, what is the, what is the full form of apps? You might have heard like apps. Do you know what is the full form of apps? People apps, call, no, no, sir. I don't know the full form of apps. People will call, hey, download this app in your mobile, right? Your friend might be telling, right? Download this yes, app. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah, download this app. App, right? So what is the app? App, app doesn't mean anything. So this is the short form of application. App oh, okay, application. okay. See, these are not a great big thing, but uh, lots of people doesn't know, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, see, see, you are using day in and day out lots of app, right? In your mobile, not you, everybody. I'm on using, I'm also, but some people might not be, okay, somebody asks, right? What is app? Like, so they might not, okay, this application. Application is nothing but a feature. Suppose this one, I was going to this Gmail and this is one the app. Right. Uh, Gmail is like app, Gmail is one of one of the application. Application or in yeah. short, called like yeah. app, right? Mm, yes, sir. Yeah, okay. So big name is then application is a big word. A P P L I C A T. So instead of that, so they give like app. Yes. A short name, right? People have some big name, so they will call like uh, with this uh, small name, right? So these are the applications. So these are like web application. Miss web means what? This will run only on these are the applications which run only on web. Mm. Uh, web oh. uh, in Google, in I mean to say, in browser. Oh, okay, sir. yeah, okay, okay so browser. that's running in the browser. That's what, and and these are applications which run on browser. So that means it need one uh, desktop or laptop or server to run. Whereas in the mobile, the app will be of the same features. This in mobile also you can open Gmail, right? You can. Oh, open Google yes, sir. there. Yes, so sir. for that same feature will be there, but the app will be different. Means the architecture, the creation of this will be different in for mobile, but for web, which is in the laptop, it will be different, but the features will be same. Mm. So you understood, right? So you, uh, so yes, how, uh, how can you make you understand this in a, in a, in a better example uh, on a real life? Uh, like both means the same, but you can access that. Now, yeah, I can give you some, some example. Do you think? Suppose you need some money. Think that you need yeah. uh, 2,000 rupees for your uh, college or some books to purchase. Earlier, what yeah. you go, you you or you will tell your parents, uh, hey, uh, Papa, Mama, so I need this money for this thing. So he will go to bank and he will write one uh, slip of withdrawal, 2,000 rupees give me, right? So your papa, yeah. father, your parents will bring uh, money from bank and he will give it to you. Okay, hey, this is the 2,000 rupees. You. So this is also... Miss, at the end, what you achieved? Miss, you, you asked for some money for something and your father has to go to the bank and he has to get it back, the money whichever he has saved to you, uh, and give it back. So this is one way. Other way is what? Other way is what? Like he will ask, okay, why you need the money? He will tell that uh, in the shop, I purchased two books for my studies. So the, the, those two books cost rupees, 2000 rupees. That is the reason. So now yeah. uh, your father will give, okay, fine. You take my mobile and you can pay through ATM, uh, through Paytm or through Google Pay or whatever, through UPI payment, you can do scan that. 
and pay it. Okay, sir. I understood now, sir. Okay. Now, now you understand. So this mm, is like sir. bigger version. And now, mm, yes, thing, as we advance, right? So things become little easy. Your father don't have to go to the bank. He don't have to waste mm. his money. He will simply scan it. He and the other person account number he will get, and he will pay two uh, two thousand rupees and done. Like it's a two yes. uh, like two second job, right? Mm, yes, yes. So, so you can think it's like a big uh, version. The web is a big version of uh, of any features or applications. See one also one more thing you can think in bank uh, or it or a Paytm type of app which is there in the mobile. There are not only like in the mobile you can do only transactions, right? You mm, can yes. do transactions. But suppose if you but in 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 a bank you will go you will you you can make transactions. You can uh, store your gold jewelries as well. You can ask for loan also. There's lots of different different features will be there when you physically go to a bank, right? And all those things you can't do on a mobile. Can you uh, deposit your gold loan in mobile? No, right? No, sir. We can't. We can't. We can't. So that means in the mobile, what is whatever the app is there or the application is running in your mobile, this is a miniature version. I mean, the small versions, but similar features. If you know, you got my point, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, and whatever is there in the web, it is having the enriched version. It means it has all the functionality. Okay, so this is the uh, difference. Uh, now we are here. So now you understood as you pay, as you go pricing, right? So this is the definition. So now you see if we had not attended yesterday's class, understanding of one sentence from here to here, whichever I am just copying might be difficult. Cloud computing yes, is the on-demand delivery of IT resources. What is What do you mean by uh, IT resources? What do you mean by on-demand? What do you mean by internet? Internet anyway, we know. And Pay as per you go pricing. So what is this? I don't know. So it, it will be difficult if I have not covered you whatever I had covered yesterday, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Now, if you see, instead of buying, owning, and maintaining physical data centers, data center, as I told you, like on-premises data centers. Oh, yeah, yeah, sir. Yeah. Yeah. So you see. Like physical image data center means which we create uh, in offices and all. In offices, like to, uh, yes, yes, yes. Those where in the offices will create some big rooms where servers will be there, right? Mm, On yes, data station and servers, you can access technology services such as computing, power, storage, databases. So you see, compu uh, computing, technology, access technology services like computing means calculation, power means uh, computing power. This is together actually. Computing power means calculation, storage mm. means where files will be stored. Storage means what you know. Can you tell me this definition or any understanding? What do you mean by storage? Storage means like uh, whichever you, whichever any you have like any important application or else any important file which we store uh, in our laptop or else uh, in our desk like hard disk and also. Correct. In the hard disk, whatever the files or important files, audio files, maybe video files or doc document file or Excel sheet. So uh, yes. that need to be stored somewhere. So this is this is stored in the in your laptop hard disk, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So then the question will come then in the cloud, where you will store? Because you are in saying cl cloud means over the internet, where you will store? In cloud meaning it's uh, like they will, they will, uh, like they will, uh, they will give us like a uh, server, no, sir, like uh, online. Uh, yes, online. Like, uh, we can buy, we can buy for rent some, some servers and we can uh, just store in there. One second, uh, Dinesh, one second. Okay, so no problem. Yeah, uh, I'm back. 
so you are right so on the on the internet yes. whatever uh, like uh, ser server they will give so it will uh, store some data in actually in cloud also it will be hard disk only where they will store they can't store anything anywhere other than the hard disk or or this right so suppose uh, you are having a, means everybody has a instagram or this uh, facebook right so they will upload some files so somewhere it has to store yes sir it can't be hanging on the air right it can be hanging on yes sir uh, yes, it sir. It will do. so this is a store and some database also will be there right so yes, you see uh, th this sentence will read we will try to understand instead of buying owning and maintaining physical data centers and servers you can access technology services such as computing power storage and database yes. on uh, on an as needed basis from a cloud provider like aws or amazon yes, now you see this big sentence we had just break down into small small and try to understand each word you will understand even yes, though you sir. don't remember this but you will able to tell Somebody will ask, what do you mean by cloud? You studied cloud, right? You, you studied AWS. But do, do you know the meaning of cloud? Then you will at least give them a picture to make them understand. Mm. Okay, you understood, right? This is online yes, spaces, sir. which will be accessed overnight uh, over the internet. And he here, whatever I need, I have to pay for that only. And I don't want to buy a big, big servers, which will cost like 1000 crores and uh, lakhs rupees, right? So like that, you can tell, even though if you don't remember this, if you remember that it is great, if okay, sir, uh, this cloud can give that much worthy servers also, sir, like thousand, like lakhs uh, yeah, per yeah. rent or Yes, yes. Oh, okay, okay. It will give like that. It is high, high. That is the reason they are one of the biggest uh, earners. You mean? You okay, mean. They, like uh, this big, big, uh, like uh, big, big companies will take so that much big, big servers. Yes, like which is in top in business. Yeah, yeah okay. top in business, like Google, Facebook, AWS, all these are top. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes. Right, so they will have uh, millions and millions of dollars of money, and 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 all these are you you see all these are not Indian companies, like Google, yes, sir, yes. right, YouTube, right. So these are like uh, Amazon, these are American companies, and their money is in dollars, not in rupees. Mm, so they have yes. big uh, money power. So once money comes in picture, right, so people can buy big big things. What is the big deal? If if mm. people don't have money, then the problem is that okay, I don't have money, I will not able to buy. Correct. You got my point, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, so this is what I was trying to. So here, uh, we understood this. Now today, uh, as part of today, so this was actually the last year's uh, miss last days. So I just wanted to recap that what is cloud company you understood or not? And yes, sir, I got our our understanding is matching with the definition whatever they have given official. You see the this is not my site or your site. This is like AWS Amazon dot com site. Okay. So this is the official definition, right? So in every company. Hmm. Everywhere, this is the definition goes for AWS. Okay. Yes, sir. So now, uh, so this is this is what now today is what we, I will try to make you understand like IP addressing. See, I will take three four classes to make your basics little strong. Without knowing the basics, if I directly jump into AWS courses, it will not make sense. Means you will not understand. Okay. Actually. Okay. So maybe initial two four classes. I will take to make the pillars, the basics ones, little bit strong so that on top of that, we will build up. We will understand. Mm, okay. So okay. if the basics are not good, right, we will not able to build, uh, you know, right, uh, like suppose when we... Yes, sir. House, I get, uh, I get little confused. Yeah. 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 So, so you might get confused, right? So suppose the simple example, I give, like if you want to build a 10 stories building. So if the foundation of the building is strong, then only you can build. Yes. Yeah, if the foundation is weak, you will you be able to build so in two stories or three stories and it might collapse. Yes, sir. Correct. Yeah. So in order to learn a good thing, so the basics will be clear. That is what I, I wanted to make tell. Yes, sir. Okay. So today what we will try to understand, we will try to understand IP addressing. IP addressing, obviously. Uh, IP addressing. IP addresses. Yes. Do you know what is IP addresses? Or or first you tell what do you mean by IP? What is the full form of IP? IP address meaning like uh, if we are using any system or else uh, anything like system and it will be having some IP address which is uh, which we can recognize that system. Sir. Can you come again? Uh, I didn't get yeah, like if we are taking any system, sir, like we have one system and it will be having an IP address like mm -hmm. uh, it that IP address system is that system means laptop, right? You means 
yes sir like laptop and desktop uh, or a like server. that okay yeah server or else yeah for every system will be having some ip address so that we can like it's like uh, a name like uh, numbers in numbers it's like a name sir like we what can identify what is the we name? can ident this number will be like what this number will be like uh, like 23 is to something like that sir 23 like 2 is to 3 3 is to like something like that like this ah yes yeah, sir exactly oh it's not is to sorry it's dot dot yeah right? i didn't observe it uh, so yeah. careful <laughs> yeah yeah that is okay but at least you went little closer right that is good yes sir yes sir you went closer it's not like 100% correct but at 70% 80% you did that's fine so mm, yes. means from your understanding what i understand that ip addressing is a uh, some numerical numbers through which we can identify any it resources like mm, laptop yes. servers or desktop whatever right yes sir yeah so that is great and what is the full form of ip uh, ip address i don't know sir that one okay that is okay yes. but at least uh, ip is like internet protocol internet protocol okay internet sir. i for internet internet protocol okay yes sir and ip address address is an address so now i'll just try to give you some uh, real time example so that you will not forget mm, okay so you see for any take up human being for any person uh, like to communicate suppose this is you and this is me think okay mm, okay so we are communicating with each other right Yes, sir. Uh, media media is what with some language in english language so since i i came to know, know you and you came to know me and since we know each other and you had a requirement and i i ha, i am in that line also so we met each other through some uh, middle uh, like a friend like uh, shekhar sir so he introduced you to me and i also called you and we, so that means what we we know each other and we are communicating on particular topic so here the topic is aws training AWS cloud yes, so now you think in the same way in the same way how two system this is like one laptop this is another laptop will communicate there should be some some way right so that here the communication happens between you and me via some media which is like communication media like with some language like english language or maybe hindi or whatever and so so uh, you are from canada or from uh, karnataka or from where uh, is this dinesh sir i am from andhra but then i know kannada and telugu sir okay oh oh great yeah. that is great so you your native is ap but yes, uh, you are, uh, are uh, your parents are still in bangalore or in ap no sir uh, they we, we our family full came to bangalore only oh okay okay so you are yeah. uh, home where in bangalore means i I know you stay. You are studying there in the Kundal Handi. That uh, yes, sir. We stay in we stay in ECS layout, sir. ECS layout. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. ECS. ECS that is there near your uh, college only, right? Yes, sir. It's near. It's near by college. Ah, okay. Got your point. Okay, understood. Okay, fine. Got it. Yeah. So just yes, like sir. that, I asked. I thought like it. <laughs> I was not knowing, right? No, so, yeah, it's fine. So now you see how two computer can communicate. That is might be a question, right? Mm, yes. so you need to understand. See, since we know to communicate. Now, suppose is that all computer can communi communi communicate with all computer? Suppose this is first computer, this is second computer, and this is suppose third computer. So these are the thought process you need to think. Then you will understand. So th third computer. So is that this computer can communicate with all? Suppose a, one example I will give. Suppose you have a computer lab. You in your department you you might be having computer lab, right? Okay, computer lab, computer lab. Okay, sir, I got it. Uh, like uh, one second, tell some reasons, sir. Like yep. uh, I got one idea. Like uh, this, all computers will communicate with one server, sir. Okay. Yeah, that's what. Like, uh, like in one lab, sir. 
if you want to communicate like full lab meaning with one system we can with, with server we can communicate with all the systems right sir hmm that is correct but how all okay how system, okay ah okay sir. how they will communicate since okay. that is how we are communicating through some communication language right like english i'm hmm. telling you something and that language need to be understood by you and me both then only you hmm. understand right suppose yes, suppose you start so, suppose i am from west bengal i know bengali okay mm, and yes. you are from ap or, or karnataka and you know uh, telugu and uh, kannadiga both you know yes, but sir. i don't know because oh, i yes, bengal i know bengal now suppose if you start speaking in telugu will i be able to understand no sir no so right and if suppose no. i start speaking in bengali which i know and you don't know i am assuming that you don't know then will you be able to understand bengali no sir i can't so right that means what these two persons should communicate in a particular language which is understandable by both the person uh yes sir like known language for both known language like english yeah. english you also know english. i also know. yes sir yes so sir. whatever i'm telling you are able to understand whatever you are also telling i am able to understand right so then yes when pro means request response starts and it goes like that right mm, yes. similar fashion how the laptops like this laptop can communicate with this or this can communicate with this and this can so so in 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 lab you might have seen that all the computers are attached to with cables mm, yes cables cables right so one wire will be there from the back it will attach and nowadays instead of cable it is wifi is there right uh, yes sir without a cable but actually it is working like that it means instead of cable they are sending what signals wi fi is sending what it is sending signals mm. right that is it so computer lab as i was telling ip addressing is what <coughs> like um, so so that means like and through cables or wi fi means both means the same thing it means the work of both are same but the way it is being designed for our uh, benefit is different see the work of cable or wi fi is what to communicate earlier the way it was like they are attached with a cable now it is not attached with the cable it is attached or maybe connected through a router that is the only difference right the yes, router sir. we are we are calling it is a wifi or whatever right mm, yes. yeah so so how this will communicate so that means what this guy need to know this and this guy need to know this this guy know to know need to know this through uh, some media like through cables they means how they will come to know if i connect this guy to this with a cable it then if i say hi this guy this hi word will come here and if this this guy will go, uh, say hello this will go here right so this data is getting transferred using the cable right yes sir yeah so now suppose this is and one more thing so that means in the computer lab if i have three servers then three servers are connected with cable then all these three servers can talk to each other right yes sir I, oh, yes sir we can yeah now suppose this is a uh, electric department lab electric uh, like btech in, in electrician is there right electric department right yes sir electric then this step like which are they connecting from cables we can call it as lan no sir L -A -N. yes we can call it as lan which is what oh, is okay, lan sir. you know lan i know sir local area network what is wan uh wide area network and what is man uh man uh, met uh wait sir man meaning uh metro is a uh, metro networking something is there sir that yeah correct on that same way you are right metro area network area network. yes sir yes. no so, i studied in some uh, 11th and 12th subjects. yeah yeah correct i understand yeah. so so this uh, so do you know any any uh, programming language like um uh c c plus plus java any programming language have you done in no sir language? i don't know sir no sir in lab we did but then uh, our computer is not like that much serious about that sir okay but uh, you might have some programming language right like computer subject yes sir we had we had python sir python we had and uh, mysql we had sir, most means mysql and python and c c yes, sir. java were not there no they were not there sir. it's not okay. there okay in class 19 also it was not there no sir it was not there okay okay fine you are from cbc board or uh, what board karnataka board cbc 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 uh, cbc has computer no yes sir it has computer but then in ninth class what happened because of this corona 
Okay. We had been concentrated on only upon this MPC subject like uh, Max Physics Chemistry. Oh, Physics Chemistry. Okay. Yeah, and one and one thing is uh, in computer for Corona, like we we had that COVID batch tenth class. Okay. So that the what so that what they did means they just told like I was leave 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 we gonna pass for computer and all you just concentrate on MPC. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so that uh, uh, we was not like we we would we don't have so much idea about uh, this languages. Okay. Yeah, for that. Okay, fine. That is okay. So what I wanted to make you understand here, like suppose you have electric electric department lab, so they will have, also have computer, and they uh suppose sorry this this is one computer two. And all these are connected with wire, means LAN wire. Okay, so that can yes, talk sir. to each other. But the thing is that can this this any of the computer of computer lab can talk to any of the computer of the electric lab without any connection? No, sir, they can't talk. They can't they, because they yes. don't have any connection, right? I mean, they, they don't get connected. Either this way, if they can connect, they can talk. Okay. Yes, okay. Sir. So so that means what that means you can think suppose you are staying in bangalore so you can talk in your ecs layer whoever your friend you can talk to them but suppose this is a marathali area where uh, some people are there and they all can talk to each other and if you don't have friendship from marathali suppose marathali guy doesn't have any friendship to a hebel guy or, or whatever then they can't yes. talk right mm. If you have friendship, then fine. Okay, he is my friend. I can talk, yeah, and he can also talk. But the the okay. local area people can talk to each other because they, obviously we know they are friends. They are friends. Yes, they are friends yeah. right? So in the same way, Marathali guys, suppose you are uh, you will have friends there in your local area. You can talk to each other. Hey, uh, how are you? Things are going and all those, right? So this yes, is I got it. You got it. So this was I I wanted to under, make me understand. Now, now we are we are trying to understand IP addressing. Now the third is like. Suppose you are a human being and you will have some name. So actually one will be like house name and one will be official name. House name is what? Like suppose like nickname. Like in home, mm. they might, in, instead of Dinesh, they might call you like uh, Dolu. Just uh, I am saying. Ah, okay, no problem. Some, some name or some papu or something. But in no, home, actually, they call me like uh, Sonu, sir, in home. Sonu. Oh, okay. uh, Sonu. Yeah. 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 So they call you, suppose, Sonu at home, right? Mm, so this yes. is your nickname. But in outside of your house, you are the same person. You are not a changed person. You are the same person in school or college. They might not call you Aish. Your friend might or me, your teacher might uh, call you with your Dini's name, right? Mm, yes, sir. Dini. Pardon me if the spelling is going wrong. So it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. So the thing, see, whether you are called by Sonu or by Dinesh, you are the same person. Mm. Yes. Right? So the name by which you are called at home, that is like local name. You can think that look, I mean, at home only, or relatives or close friends will only know that okay, this guy who is studying in class 12, I mean a first year degree. His name is Sonu, but outside of your house or your or your close relatives, people might not know with their household name. They might know with your college name or the school name, whatever the name is there, right? So yes, they sir. might be knowing this Dinesh, right? So yes, in sir. a similar way, in a similar way, this is a laptop. In a similar way. Each system, each laptop has two names. One, one name is called physical name. Physical name. You can write it now if you uh, like, if you have pen and copy. Because this hmm. all I might not share. You need to go to the recordings and then only you can see. Physical. Yes, sir. I will once I will refer to the recording and I will I will write a notes. 
Logical name L N. Local, local name like oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, you can think like, uh, sorry, um, yeah, sorry, let me. So logical name is is generally the IP address for in the sense of computer we call. Means everybody will know you, uh, or maybe computer with a logical name. physical name is called MAC address. M S C machine access address M S C. Okay. Um, so I, I thought uh, I thought it's uh, Apple. Address <laughs> full form. I think uh, media access control address Mac. The full okay. form Mac is the media access control. The Mac address is known as the hardware ID number. Hardware or the physical ID number. Uh, so hardware or the physical number we can call. So what is this uh, hardware number? H W number. Yeah. Hardware name is what? Suppose whenever any laptop gets manufactured in a factory, right? That time every laptop has its unique number or ID. You can think so that mm. I can identify that number uniquely. Suppose HP is manufacturing lots of HP laptops or Mac, Mac, Apple is manufacturing. So each Mac hardware ID or we call it physical ID will be a different, will be unique, and when you communicate with that Mac with other persons or other laptop, that becomes your logical name or IP address. You got right. So yes, sir, yes, sir. will have two address, which is physical, which is you can think of nickname. It is a hardware address because nobody might, might not be knowing with that name. But a logical name here in the case of in the college, then is which you will it's be known. IP, by, IP, uh, which yeah. is IP address, which which will be known by all over the world. Right. Mm, yes. Yes. Now, now you think a case like suppose, uh, so so to communicate between two sys servers, we need not the MAC address, means not the physical address or the hardware. Address. We need the logical address, which is nothing but the IP address, which is nothing but like this type of numbers, right? Yeah. So to communicate between between these two servers, we need MAC. Uh, sorry, and the logical address, which is called IP address. Okay. So you think one example I can give, suppose why the logical address comes in picture means why we are taking this logical address or IP address into considerations. Because suppose if you uh, go to Delhi and you tell uh, like, um, uh, like suppose what I can say. Okay, sir. I got it. What you're thinking like, uh, I can't, I will go for Delhi and I can't tell I'm from East slot. I should tell like Bangalore. No, sir. Yeah, correct. So that's what I yeah. want. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so if you tell that, um, uh, suppose in uh, one one paper, if you write in Delhi, if you write like ACS, my house is in ACS layout. Yes, sir. And can you help me to find this address? If you go to no. any paper in Delhi, they will say, who is this guy? Where is ACS? Mm. I don't know. He will tell, mm. I don't yes, know. Yes, they will tell. Yeah. Yes. Huh. Right. He will tell them. But if you tell that, okay, fine. ACS is in Marathali, ACS, comma Marathali, comma Bangalore, comma Karnataka, and phone mm. number, pin code number. If you can give, then people there, if you show to traffic police or anybody there, they okay, ACS, then they will uh, they'll recognize okay. my address. So, so they yeah. will recognize the complete address. Okay, this guy. Okay, then IP address meaning like it's like a ID for the whole system, no, sir, like laptop or else. Uh... Yes, yes. This yeah, is, I got it. This is IP address, the logical address where, where this system will be known. Throughout the world. Ah, yes, okay. If you have an IP address, then anybody from any corners of the world can able to communicate, or you can also able to communicate. Suppose your server is in Bangalore and one server is in suppose, Australia. So hmm. your your laptop will have some MAC address or a physical address. With that hmm. address, you can't communicate with us with a laptop or maybe a, your friend. Suppose think your friend is staying in Australia and he is also uh, is uh, uh, having internet and you are also in Bangalore, you are having internet. So can you both can communicate with the help of this physical address or MAC address? You can't. 
you you can't because that is not a complete address logical means for well, logically it is a complete and it has all the details like as i told you like um um acs layout in that which uh, cross which mail everything will be there um, in marathalli that is there then it is in karnataka it is in bangalore the pin code number will be there phone number will be there. so then and india will also be there. anybody can okay fine you want to go from delhi to suppose bangalore then somebody will tell okay you take a flight from delhi go to bangalore from bangalore you take one taxi and tell that i need to go to the marathalli from marathalli you just ask some auto driver or somebody that hey take me to acs layout he will take you to the acs there you can walk by or you can tell that uh, auto guy okay this is the 12th main or whatever the cross is there right so he will so that means from one place to another place exactly you will reach but instead of that if you only tell hey i have to go to acs layout so we that will work we, that will not work mm, yes. got it so that, that's what i just wanted to make you understand that every person has two names in the similar way you will understand i mean you remember that every system has two names one name is called physical name or sometimes called hardware name that is nothing but mac address so you can call all this as same so big big times right sometimes what are the teachers will say different different names and the student will get confused oh my god what is physical address it might be something mm, no. yes, yes. what is hardware address oh my god hardware what is hardware i also don't what is mac mm. first of all they will not able to understand what is that media access control i was uh, i was about to now just google it you will get it mac address is just you see it is written the full name form of mac is this the mac address is known as a hardware id number everyone has id right now suppose you are you you took admission so in your college also you got some uh, roll number or registration number right? that is unique right yes sir yes. yeah so that is unique that means your your name then this might be some other guy also right but your id whatever they had given on the computer science department that will be unique no other person Ah, uh, yes. right? Yes, sir, I got it. Sir. I got it. What it? Yeah. So that is uniquely identifying you, that ID. So that is like hardware ID. In particular, each computer NIC network interface card. In computer, there is one NIC means one hardware included in a uh, uh, including a Bluetooth, Wi-Fi card or Ethernet card has an unchanged unchanged. You see, unchanged means what? Fixed. You know, MAC address yeah. inserted in the MAC. So now you you might think, of, oh, what is this NIC? So Nick, uh, Nick images. I'll tell. You. I'll show you what is Nick. See, if you see these images in a laptop, mm, yes, sir, I have seen things. this. Yeah. So there will be one chip. This type of chip will be there. This is called the Nick graphical Ethernet Nick, and this is the Ethernet port. So this is the Nick we call like which call like network interface card. Oh yeah. Okay. Wire, wire, wired Wi-Fi also we can connect through this. Ah, through this you can. Mm. Connect. So yeah, I got. So this in each so this is the guy or this is the where this you can connect and you see here types of NIC external uh USB NIC and wireless this is a wireless NIC and it is connected to this chip you can see this this mm. so that means what this is a, a NIC address you can think or a MAC address or whatever this all means the same thing but some teacher or some uh, tutor or maybe some institute also right. They will tell maybe some high five in the words, which students might not understand, and they might be thinking, "Oh my God, he is a rocket science or some scientist or what, something like that, right?" So if you understand words in a layman term or in a like a in a practical way, then it will be registered in your mind, and you will understand it properly. It's not a big thing. Till you don't know, it is a big thing. Once you know, it is not a big thing, right? When you are a mm. kid, when you are small, when you don't know one, two, three, four, that time you might be say, "Oh my God, how they are doing multiplication, addition, subtraction." Once you know one, two, three, and you know how to add, then anybody asks, "Okay, two plus five is what?" You will tell two plus five is seven. Mm. Till, till you don't know, it might be a rocket science for anybody. It's not in your case or my case. Till you don't know, it is a, like a big thing. Once you know, okay, fine, it is like this. Oh, fine, two plus seven is what? Seven. Uh, two plus five is seven. So it is like that. So now I I thought like I um, I think that I was I was able to make you understand what is this MAC and IP address. Yes, so, I understand. Uh, yeah. So a system can be recognized using an IP address, which is sometimes called logical name or not logical address also. Okay. No. Mm, yes. IP address is of two types. Do you know IP address? IP address, Internet Protocol address, is of two types. No, I don't know this. Okay. What are the types? 
I'll tell types. First is IPv4. I P anyway, IP is nothing but internet protocol, and this is called version 4. Second is IP V6. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, version, you know what is version? Version meaning uh, it's type of uh, system or else uh, like uh, it's type of uh, version meaning. Uh, no, sir, I don't have any idea. Like I know, but then I'm not able to define it. Uh, you're not able to. That's okay. Yeah. Okay, so that is fine. So see, version I'll tell. In your any of the app which you might have downloaded in your in your I mean to say mobile any app which you download that app has a version. Mm, yes. So sometimes you will get some notification. Hey, you need to take the updated version or you need to upgrade it to the latest version. People keep mm, yes. uh, says right. So so now if I show you in my Mac also you will get you will understand. So this is my about this Mac. So you see Mac. This is Mac OS. So what is the operating system Mac is using? You see 13.3.1. You can see this. This is a Mac. Yes, sir. Yes. Mac. Now tomorrow, uh, this Mac will come out with a new version. They might say the 13.1, uh, 3.1 is there, right? So instead of that, they might tell 13.1.2. This is the new version. So you see the last digit has got incremented. Ah, oh, okay, sir. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so this is called the incremented version. Means one version now. After maybe six years or maybe six months, sorry, this might come like 13.3.3, right? Now, after a, uh, like six month time, it might come like 14.1.1. So now okay. this, uh, 13 become 14, one point. Now, now it will repeat like, uh, so 13.1.2, like that 13.1.3. So like that increase. So that means what? The operating system is, in, is getting incremented a version. Why there is an increment? The reason being, each incremented version will have new new features, new new. Mm, listen, yeah. That is now suppose you might be having some uh, WhatsApp, right? Think just take the example, which is a software, which is an app or an application. So sometimes it will ask you to upgrade. So once you upgrade, you might see that okay, the the new feature came. This is a new feature. Why it came? Because in the new version of the software, they have added new functionality or a new module or a new service all means the same thing but the name is different means people get sometimes confused or sometimes get feared oh my god what he is saying app feature service module so many things it all means the same thing you don't have to worry about that this is just a trick and this uh, big big people will uh, means uh, have so to make you think that i am great you are mm -hmm. right if they tell big big names, or people will little bit surprised. Oh my God, this this name, what is it? So he might be a big uh, big shot or something like that, right? Some people might think so. But once you understand the meaning, then it will be like a uh, water for you. You won't be having that scared city, or maybe that you won't be feared. Okay, he means this thing. That's fine. Okay, done, right? So this is a version. So what I was telling you, so there are two type of IP version, like Internet Protocol version four and version six. So you might have question like, well, what about version five? Because after four, five should come. Then only six should come, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So what happens sometimes like whenever there is a software software upgrade or a version four to five, five also came, but it didn't work out well in the market, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes mm -hmm. some uh, some software will not uh, uh, get the user attention, right? They will say, oh, this is not good. I will not uh, take this. So, so that time after that, they fix that bug, which was there in the five and name it like IPv4 six. And okay. They, they replace that place. They, they replace or they had to right, get rid of this version five altogether. Mm, yes, sir. Okay, okay. Understood. So that was the case with this IPv4 and six. Mm, yes. Understood, right? Okay. Yes, sir. But then uh, these are the two types. These are two types. So now, yeah, these are only two types as of now. And majority of this, see, IPv4 will give what? It will give one IP address, which will be in the form of octet. Octet means what? This is one box is octet. There is second box. There is third box. 
So there will be four octet. So this one is called octet. One box you can think is what is the name of this box? Octet. I will tell you the actual meaning of octet. But as of now, think that this is one octet. This is second octet. This is third octet. This is fourth octet. Okay. And the okay. first octet number is like suppose 10. Second is like 20. Think just a, any number I can take. I am just randomly mm -hmm. 20, 30, 40. And we can name it like uh, as a like 10 dot 20 dot 30 dot 40 okay okay so this 10 20 30 40 is the ip address which is having version 4 4 means what there will be a 4 octet see 1 octet 2 octet 3 octet and 4 octet that is called this type of IP address is called IPv4 addressing. Okay. Okay, sir. Now comes to the picture of IPv6. So in IPv6. Okay. In uh, IPv6, we are seeing is like IP address which we are seeing normal nowadays. Uh, like uh, the same thing, no, sir? Same thing, but two octet more. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So this might be like 10. 20, 30, 40, 60. So you see how many octet is a one? This is one. This is second octet, third octet, fourth octet, fifth octet, and sixth octet. Okay. So now why octet? So, so see every system, as I was telling you, every system is addressed. Every laptop is addressed or maybe can be recognized with the help of IP address, which type of address IPv4. So what happens is now as the populations and everything is developing, right? Or lots of computers are coming. So number of IP addresses, which satisfy IPv4 protocol or rule is getting exhausted. Okay, it is about to see everything will not uh, live for a long right now. Suppose water might go exhausted. What is getting also scarcity is there in Marathal, every place in Bangalore almost, right? Yes, sir. So like that IP addresses, this this is four, like four octet. But so this is getting exhausted. So the scientists thought or maybe the big, big IT engineers thought that IP before address will get exhausted. So if I have to manufacture new laptops, so I will not be able to provide IP address to that laptop. Okay. That is the reason they came with one new technique that instead of four IP address, let me have six. So they got two boxes extra. So it will run for another hundred years. Okay. So mm -hmm. in this way, so, so that if they have six IPv6 addressing, they can manufacture more IP, uh, laptops or mobile phone and give IP address to each newly manufactured laptops or uh, or any hardware, right? Okay, sir. So that is the reason IPv6 came into picture, but but uh, but still we all are using IPv4 only because it has not got exhaust, exhausted exhausted. It is still there in use. So this is the two types of IP uh, addressing. One is IPv4 and one other is IPv6. Now, why we are calling each as an octet? So binary digits, have you studied in your college? Binaries, like zero. Binaries, uh, I, have, I have an idea, sir, but then uh, I don't know like perfectly. Uh, just I have an idea like. Okay, so oh, fine. I will try to make you understand. See, this is one octet. That means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, three six, seven, eight. So since there are eight zeros, Eight in English mathematics, we know like 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 you know like quadrilateral has how many sides? You might be studied math, right? Quadrilateral, yes, sir. How many sides? Quadrilateral, no, sir. Uh, triangle has how many? Tri uh, triangle will be having three. Three. So why the three? Because tri is what? Tri means three. Quadri means four. Four. Mm, yes, yeah, sir. four sides. Because this is a quadrilateral, right? This is a quadrilateral because it's a one, two, three, four. Triangle means what? Mm -hmm. Right? 
This is triangle is called okay. because these three sides, this is four. Then pentagon is what? Five sides? One. Yes, sir. Pentagon three, side. Four, five. Right. Like like that penta, which is five. Hexa is six. Hepta is seven. Yes, sir, six. And hepta octa is, octa is eight. eight. Octa is eight. So from this mathematics word, this octade came. What is the word? O C T D. Oh, there are eight, so that they kept octed. Okay. Octed. This is called one octed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? Mm, yes. So now that means as I told, each box is octed. This is one octed. This is, means each box has eight small, small boxes. So if I draw it like okay, okay. so how uh, it will be? So it will be like so I need to make it like one, two, three. So this is one octet. As I told you, this is one octet. This is one octet. Okay. In one box, uh, there are tiny box like eight. Eight, eight placeholder where we can have either zero or one. Like suppose this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Understood? So like yes. that, uh -huh. either it can be zero or can be one, like one. So, but it will be eight times one, two, three, four. Oh, any five, like any structure, but then it will be having eight types. Eight, yeah. That is that is the reason yes. it is called eight, or maybe a combination of zero, one, zero. Right. But it should be eight. Um. Like uh, one, any combination. Okay, sir, and one more thing, like what we what is the difference between if we keep zero and one? Yeah, that I will tell. No, okay. Now you understood that right? this is called octet. The this is the first octet having eight. First, this is, this is the second octet. Third octet, fourth octet. Third and fourth. Third octet and fourth. Octet. Nice. Fourth, right. Now, as I told, I will I will try to make you understand any one octet and rest is in a similar fashion. Okay. So think mm -hmm. one octet I'm taking. This is uh, suppose first one, second, three, third, fourth, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So what I was telling as per this logic, this box uh, has eight placeholders where I can either put one or zero. Okay. We can put either one. Mm -hmm. or zero. So think that from the right side, you try, you start from the right hand side, make it one. Okay. Two to the power, two to the, two to the power zero. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Two to the power one. This, this you might be remembering in your nine ten. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To the, to the power three. Ah, uh, two to the power three. Two to the power of four. Two. Okay. Okay. Two to the power zero is what? One. Anything to the power zero is one. Two to the power one is what? Two. What is the value? Two. This will be two. two to the power two is what? Four, four. Four. Two to the power three is six. Eight. Tell me properly. Two to the power three is what? Two into two into two. Oh, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, okay, sir. You Sorry. should not add it's a multiply. Two into two into two. Yeah. So then yes, it will be, yeah, this four. will be like two to the power means what? Two to the power means multiplication. Two right? into two into two into two. Yes, sir. Two, two times. Yeah. Like uh, yeah. So it will be sixteen, right? Yes, sir. This will be thirty two. To the power is thirty-two. To the power six is sixty-four, and to the power seven is one twenty-eight. One twenty-eight. Yes. Right. Or you can remember just double it from here to here. Just mm. double. Like one, two, just double it. Four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one twenty. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is a basic. I had just tried. Now think that this box has a number like one. 0, 1, 0, 
one zero think just any random things i'm putting okay like so what will be the value this is like one and zero is the bits and bytes the computer understand that you might be aware that right? computer doesn't understand four five seven eight it understands only zero and one either true or mm. false right that okay. might be okay. the so since it understand two things which is like zero and one that is the reason we sometimes call computer understand binary code binary binary means two code what is the first code first code is either zero first second second is one. Like one, right so, uh, okay. so now our uh, octet has suppose eight uh, placeholders and each the value is this then what will the correct means total value so suppose the first place zero will be the value of one mm -hmm. and the second place will be two as i am writing the same thing third place will be four then it, the value eight. of the first place eight sixteen 32, 64, 128. Then wherever is zero, you just cancel that. We don't have to take that into consideration. Wherever is zero, where is zero. So, okay, okay. Sir, okay. okay. Wherever zero is there, because zero you multiply by that number, you will become zero because zero into one is zero, zero into four is zero, zero into zero. eight. Hey, everything is zero. Okay. Zero. So wherever this one is there, you add those numbers. Miss, miss, you need to add what? You need to add two. Okay. Add Three. Eight, uh, then the thirty-two, and then one twenty-eight. So can you add and tell me what is the value of all this one twenty-eight plus? Okay. First one is three, sir. One twenty. Okay. Sorry. One twenty-nine. No. One twenty. No. This one only. You need to add this uh, one twenty-eight plus thirty-two. Okay. Everything. Oh, okay, sir. Okay. Ah, everything plus eight. Plus two. Tell me, or you can use calculator. You can take no problem. Yes, sir. Yes. Twenty-eight. Okay, sir. One one two eight four three two four eight plus two. Hmm. Okay, sir. One second. Sir, twelve thousand eight hundred and forty-three. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no, you have to add it. Add only it, sir. No, sorry, sir. Uh, by mistake, I told twelve thousand. It's not twelve thousand. Man, one uh, like uh, one la uh, one crore two lakhs eighty four like one two eight four three two five zero sir. You have to add one twenty eight plus thirty two plus eight plus two. One twenty eight. One twenty eight. Oh, okay. okay. You, you have to add. You don't have to multiply. Why are you multiplying? So this was no, sir. I didn't. I didn't multiply. Like in my book, I wrote uh, one wrong number. Okay. Oh, okay. So yeah. Oh, it should be one seventy, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Like uh, thirty two, I wrote like forty three. Okay. Like okay. No, no. Yeah. So 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 now right. So that means if an octet has a value of one zero one zero one zero one zero, the value will come to be one seventy, right? If I add these numbers. Yes, sir. Because I am simply adding one hundred twenty eight. You see, eight plus two is what ten. Ten plus thirty two is what forty two. Forty two plus one twenty eight is what forty two plus one twenty eight is one seventy. That's it. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, sir. Uh, I got confused uh, really bad. No, sir. I thought like uh, you you wrote one twenty eight thirty two eight two like totally. I didn't uh, like in between that plus I didn't see, sir. No, no, no plus we need to add. So I've given this plus. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. like uh, I I thought like one twenty eight thirty two eight totally. We need to add with two. Oh no 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 nothing like that. Uh, okay okay. okay. Like uh, I didn't recognize that place in a uh, proper mm. way. Mm. Yeah. No. Yeah. So now now you understood right one twenty. Yes, sir, now I understood. Sir. Now yeah. I understood. Yeah. So now you see. Uh, so that means what? Now so suppose any octet I I, I told you so if it is one zero one zero so that means the value of that will be one seventy. Right. Mm, yes sir. Yeah. 
So you see, this is one octet I was telling, means which is nothing but this one only. First one I'm trying to make you understand. So what will be the minimum value and maximum value of an octet? Minimum value will be what? All will be zero. Means eight places, right? All will be zero, then it is a like minimum. Minimum is means lowest. Yes. Right? And maximum will be what? Maximum will be all will be what? One. One. Uh, right? All will be one. Yes. Now all will be zero. That means what? This is like whatever you write, what you write one, two. I'm just doubling it for eight. 16. 16. 32. 64. 128. So now if you multiply, first we need to multiply, then we need to add. That you remember. So 1 into 0 is 0. This becomes 0. And then 0. All will be 0, right? Yes, sir. All will be 0. The... Will be. Because first we need to multiply, and then we need to add. That That is the rule. Now, if you add this all, so 0 plus 0, 0 plus 0, all 0 is 0. Will zero right? Now, in the similar fashion, so the first one, first octet value will be 1, then it will be 2, then it will be 4, 8, 32, 48, sorry, uh, 64. Six. No, no, something wrong. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, sorry. 16, 1. 16. 32, 64, 120. 64, hmm. 128. So now I applied it. Uh, and then uh, see, see, there is no zero, right? So I hmm. can't cancel. So all we need to add. Just add all. How much you are getting? Like 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 plus 64 plus 128. Sir, like uh, one seventy what now? Sir, previous that one? That was one seventy, but that was like one zero one zero one zero, right? Now it is all all. Oh, okay, 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 sir. So one second. You add all. One like one twenty eight sixty one twenty eight plus sixty one twenty eight plus sixty four plus thirty two like that one, sir. Correct, correct. Yeah. Okay. One second. One twenty eight plus four plus thirty plus plus eight plus two plus two plus two fifty five, sir. Two fifty five. Yes, sir. That means what? That means, so as I was telling, right? So now you understood that the minimum value can be 0 and the maximum can be 255. Right? Yes, so now, as I was telling you, the, this is the first octet whose minimum value can be 0 in integer, in numeric, and maximum can be 254, 255. Right? Mm, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So in the similar fashion, the for an IP address, there is there is four octet, right? First octet, second octet, third octet, fourth octet. And I have taught you only the first octet whose minimum mm, will be this okay. and maximum will be this. Similar in the similar fashion, for the second octet also, the minimum and maximum will be same as the first. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It it will be also in the zero and one format, right? Mm, yes, sir. Zero to 255. So this Actually, this comes in networking part, right? I'm just teaching you this one so that like you should have some IP addressing uh, like concept. Otherwise, it's not required because in order to learn cloud, you don't have to learn networking. These all are part of networking, which, but you mm, need yes, to understand a little bit, at least high level you can understand. Okay, so in this way, we mm. used to calculate the IP address, uh, IP address of which computer can understand because we know computer can only understand zero and one, not more than that, right? Mm, yes. So, so this is uh, one. Now I'll just come to this IP addressing part. You see, uh, two types of I'll just uh, this theory I had uh, taught. So I'll just go through. Then you will understand. See, uh, two types of IP addressing: IPv4, Internet Protocol version four, and IPv6. IPv6. So this is uh, version six. 
uh, how we can find ipv4 in our laptop suppose this is a max i will i will come to this command prompt and i will type this command ip config get if address en0 internet 0 so you will see this is the ip i got for my address for a mac it is like uh, or sometimes for your windows if you open your command prompt the if config or ip config if you type so can you type ip config or if config in the system you you have left okay anyway that is uh, having some issue right you are in mobile correct no hello oh sorry sir. Uh, sir. I, for, I forgot that I unmuted it. Okay, okay. So, mm -hmm. so in your computer laptop, in, in the computer, if you if you open, means how you'll come to know what is your IP address? Do you know? Yes, sir. Like uh, IP address, no, sir. Uh, hmm. uh, like uh, I don't know that, but then settings we can use, we can see, no, sir. Do you have laptop open? Yes, sir. Uh, just now it got restarted. Uh, I just owned it. Oh, so you can see your screen? Yes, sir. I can see the screen. So can you share your screen? Mm, sir, or... if you don't mind, uh, still, it, like, it takes so much time. Okay, uh, that's fine. That, that's fine. That's fine. I just yeah, want tomorrow, to. Tomorrow, yeah, like, tomorrow is okay with that laptop, sir. Okay, no, it's, no, it's, I just uh, thought, oh, like, nice. you told, right? That's mm -hmm. it. So it, it's not an issue at all. So nice. just uh, how some somebody might ask, hey, what is your IP address? Means, uh, your yes. means, what is your laptop? Then you need to either type IP config or if config. See IP and this is config. Config means configuration. So when you type, yes. now, now, now you see for my Mac, I am typing IP config get if address en0. This is a command which we need to remember. Then I am getting this address. You see, this is an, in the form of octet, which I was telling you. This is what, this is nothing but octet. Right, okay, what okay, sir. Uh, 192 dot 168 dot 0 dot 167. Sir, I have one doubt here. Yeah, tell me. Like uh, like above we did we took an example now, sir, like zero dot yeah. zero and two fifty five. Correct. And uh, it has that same, it has that same configuration, like what we got, like same we had. Hmm. And for this 192 and 168 and 0, 169, it has different, different, no, sir? Yeah, it is different because what I am saying, see, this is a first octet. This, hmm, okay, sir. Octet. this is the third octet. This is the fourth. And that means what? This first octet value will range between 0 to 255, any number between 0 oh, and okay, okay, so, okay, sir. So you see 192 is between means it can't be less than zero and more than 255. You see this okay. there is 192 which is ranging between zero and 255. Zero and 255, yes, sir. Second one also 168, which is ranging between zero and 250. That is the reason oh, I was okay. telling you the minimum yes, and maximum. Yes. Ma oh, okay, so I got it. Sir. You see this minimum this is, is zero. Uh, this is zero. Yeah, zero. This can be like 255, uh, maybe zero. between these two numbers, right? Yes, that's right. So every system or any laptop will have your public IP. So this will be in the form of 192, 168, 0, and 168, right? Yes, sir. And there will be two IP for each system. Like two IP, mm. not I mean like just now you told like uh, yeah, one is like logical uh, physical hard law, physical name and logical name. Logic. This is and under logic, this one also there will be two IP. Under this one yes, IP will be called right private IP. And one will be called private public IP. Okay, still two. Uh, okay, sir. Uh, see this, this anyway MAC address. This in IP also there will be one public and private. Okay, sir. Right, uh, public, uh, private, public. Okay, private and public. Okay, so that we will do. So public and private is what this is the public means what everybody will know. That's oh. what that is the reason I was telling you about this example of uh, this guy. Where is it? So then now what you have shown for me like IP address that's public now, sir. That is public, yes. Mm, okay, sir. Public. public means what everybody will know. See everybody knows. Danish name, everybody will know, right? But in your home and all those or maybe some small locality. That is private. Uh
to describe it. Okay. Yes. So, so, so that means what? Like, suppose as I was telling, right? Suppose I was telling one example of, uh, I was where our computer, electric department and all those work there. Okay, fine. I can create one more. That uh, e change or something, now, sir? Like yeah. That? Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, electric department and electric department. Yeah. So now this page. So what I was telling. This is one suppose computer department. See computer department, then this is electric department. Mm. Okay, so all will computer. Since since it is in a same class, or maybe like suppose uh, this friends you know right, so all are like computer you think. So this is the student number one, student two, student three, four, five, six, seven, eight in computer department. So all can can talk to each other, right? Using a private yes. IP. Means they, they know each other because they are in the same class. So you think about or stress something more about this, what is class. In the same class, they will be there. But and in the similar fashion, electric department students will know each other and can talk to each other because they're in the same class. So in order to talk yes. within a class or within an organization or within a subnet, we need private IP. What we need? Private. Private IP. Private. But this class and uh, so here private IP will work. What IP? Private. Private, you can think like in your house. Everybody knows you with some name, right? Sonu. Yes, sir. Yeah. So that you can think this is my private name. Outside my house, nobody should call me Sonu because that is private to my family members. Right? Mm, yes. So like that you can think. And this is public. Now, this is also inside this is private PRI. I will write only. And in order to communicate between these two, so it becomes public. Right? It becomes public. Mm, yes. Yeah. Miss outside, if you want to uh, public. So there are two types of address. Public. Okay. So these are two mm. things. I wanted to understand. See, there are lots of things but thing is that now if these are very much details in uh, networking so i don't want to go in details and it will be a little bit tough for you to understand as of now okay, okay. so whatever you will understand i will teach you that will be greater now you suppose subnet will be there the subnet networking ip addressing lots of things are there but i will not teach this because if i teach right lots of formulas will be there you will confuse you will find like very maybe as the class goes and if I need, the, if I think that this is required, this is mandatory to teach you, then I will teach you even though it's a little harder. But if I see that you are learning cloud and it doesn't make sense to teach you this hardest one, then I will skip it. Okay. Okay. Sir. Okay. Okay. Fine. So this is one. Then, then I was trying to teach you LAN, WAN. And so what is LAN? Can you tell me? LAN meaning like uh, full form, sir. Huh? No, no full is form. LAN. Yeah, La so okay, sir. I'm gonna tell. Lang meaning like which we connect through wires and cables, uh, and which we give signals and which we contact with uh, wires. Okay. We can connect. We can uh, with LAN, We can connect through over on less area, sir. Not like uh, from far and all. We can connect only through less, uh, like local area and all. Local areas. LAN means local. Suppose uh, you are uh, you are a single brother or you have uh, siblings also. No, I have siblings, sir. One brother, I have. Big brother. Big brother, yes. So, what is mm. he? he? Even he is doing engineering both years. In computer or some different? In computer, only. BTEC, sir. EC. Oh, EC. Okay. Fine. Great. So, now, suppose you and your elder brother are staying in the same house and you are in staying in one room, your brother is staying in other room. Now, mm. so, this is a local area, right? And if you want to communicate with him, so can we call your communication to you and your brother as a LAN connection? If you're suppose laptop and his laptop is connected with a wire. Yes, sir. We can call like that. We can. And and suppose if you are uh, and you are using internet to communicate. 
i'm using internet sir internet ha uh, you are using internet to come so so what like it depends it will come on van sir yeah how why why meaning uh, it's not connected through some cables and wires no, sir it's connected through wireless ha it is connected through wireless so but wireless also need uh, computer uh, connection right means internet connection mm yes sir correct yeah, and uh, need connection right oh yes sir yeah then can we call the uh, your uh, brother and your you are talking to each other using a internet connection can we call as a lan uh um we can call sir but then ah uh, yeah sir we can call we can call it's connected through cables yeah suppose see see there is two things connected with cable and connecting with internet is different okay sir suppose your laptop is connected with the hdmi cables with your brothers and you are pinging him and he is replying you so and you are uh, like not using internet you are using cable Okay, sir. Okay, not a third-party internet. So, is that we can call it a LAN? Yes, sir. We can call it as a LAN, sir. Actually, I have one doubt. Hmm. Like, uh, uh, like, okay, me and my brother both are communicating, but not with the wire. But uh, we are communicating with network. Network. So even yeah, net. No, yeah. Tell me. Yeah, network meaning like we are communicating through the wire, wire, wide network. Wired network. Yes. Yes, sir. No, it comes on LAN only, no, sir. See, wired means why that wire doesn't have internet connectivity. Mm. Just, just see, okay. Like uh, USB cables, you can talk. Oh, okay, sir. USB cables. So, so, and suppose you are staying here in Bangalore in Marathali, and I am staying in in suppose I am stay at Kerpuram in Bangalore. Okay. Okay, sir. My house is in Kerpuram. So now I have a big wire which doesn't have internet, but a simple HDMI cable, a simple wire, and that wire is connecting to my laptop, and the other end of the wire is connecting to your house, which is little little far because Kerpuram and Marathali is around some seven eight kilometer distance, right? Maybe ten kilometers, yes, right? So, but yes. I have a ten kilometer big long wire, and I am connecting you, and I am communicating. With you. I will give some hi. You will tell me hi and all those, right? So even yes. though we are far, but we are not using any internet. We are using a simple a wire, LAN wire means a HDMI wire. So will that call be a LAN? Yes, sir. We can call as a LAN. Why? But we are. Why meaning? Far, right. Ah uh, yes, sir. But then uh, we are communicating with some wire, no, sir. Like you can. so yeah correct so 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 the main idea or main things to understand is like if you are using an internet then that is not a lan lan means local local means without any internet you can communicate through only wire okay now no okay sir now uh, now we are we are communicate with one wire but you are in kerpuram and i am in marathali yeah be, even though wire is long enough and i am communicating i am not using the help of any internet this comes under lan means locally means the, the first computer we think that since this it is con uh, connected with uh, wire it is it is a locally available even though the wire is long okay sir so now you are telling like uh, we are not using any internet to communicate we are using only the wire wire to communicate, to communicate. it's oh. it will be like it's called as lan it's called the lan so means okay, see uh, lan anyway we know this official definition lan is like Local area network means local. How can we local? Because a wire cannot be that long, right? In general, yes, that's all. In the general, the wire cannot be that long. Maybe in a small room or maybe in a big apartment, like top and bottom, or maybe maybe in a computer lab, lab, uh, the wire. Thing. So the main definition of the actual meaning of LAN is like it is a locally and connected with wire, not with internet. If internet comes in picture, that is not a LAN. That will become a WAN. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. You got it, right? Even though suppose mm. I, I am chatting with you in WhatsApp, so I am using internet. That right? will come when it comes and into when when or man, whatever. But it should oh, okay. it can't be land because I am okay. taking the help. Whenever you take the help of internet, it become when or a man, but not land. Land means without internet. Okay, sir. I got it. 
you got right so this is a subtle mm. difference which you need to understand that is the reason i am right when two pc communicate without internet this is called lan there should not be any uh, there should not be any km concept here km means kilometer concept here kilometer may be small or big but if they are not using internet and is using a cable that is called a lan wan means what when two pc communicate with internet connection this is called wan or man whatever you call it. yes sir you got it so 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 this was uh uh this was that so one more thing uh, in your college days 11 12 have you and uh, have you read this osi model like uh, osi model sir osi model like application layer presentation layer session layer transport layer network layer data link or physical layer no sir we didn't learn this you did learn it okay fine because these are like little network related topics then after that you see the, after that uh, osi demo is there that is anyway hands on i i had given one examples then actual this ec2 creation aws account creation and comes in picture means this is 1 2 3 4 5 topics are the basics and after that all this aws related the theory labs labs and all those will be there right all these are labs the labs are more which gives more more uh, uh, understanding that any will teach you okay yes sir uh, so 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 only thing i just wanted to teach uh, more little bit these are the osi model which we call osi like open source information model where there are seven layers this will tell how one system communicates with other see ip address hmm. they are fine but how things happen how data gets transferred from here to is i am writing whatever you are getting whatever i am writing you are writing whatever so those i am getting whatever image i am sending you are getting so how this data transfer happens that is done using osi model this much only you just understand and it has seven layers presentation layer sorry first is application presentation session transport network data and physical layer and each like it comes into sir like it comes into like in whatsapp i need to send any pick or picture or video means uh, if i send it comes into this thing only sir uh, i like i o s i model o s i model correct whatever you will send or receive it comes under because it has to go through all this okay sir okay okay see all things are happening in the background but we are not knowing only the computer engineers and who has developed they are knowing right? ah yes sir correct yeah, yeah. okay they will be knowing right because if i send some data it might get corrupted in between but the engineers will take care that it should reach to you intact in in a complete manner in a proper manner right mm, yes suppose i am writing one suppose like i am writing like hi dinesh so it should reach you as a like hi dinesh it should not reach you like dinesh hi mm, yes sir, correct it's the opposite maybe like suppose i am giving my uh, first line will be my name second line will be my, my address third line will be phone so it should reach in that way only to you it should not be like that the last line which is the phone number of mine i send you it will reach you first right yes sir i got it yes. yeah you got right so it will be in that order so how these things are getting maintained suppose i am sending you amit is my name and it you you reached means in your uh, whatsapp you saw on ami so you you might be thinking oh my god this guy's name is ami where is the t went off then i will tell oh, no no my name is not ami my name is amit which is amit mm. so yes, you sir. see each alphabet is getting transferred to you correctly how how that is happening see because correct. of OI, osi because of osi model so these are the yes. things how it is so this all these layers of models takes care of all this thing understood yes sir understood so this is a osi model this one also that just only the layer i will just read like what does this works you see application layer is the topmost layer then the presentation layer then the session layer transport layer network data layer link and physical layer physical layer is a down layer last layer you see okay. i will just read this this is important then uh, maybe uh, we can close this for today okay from next class we will application layer what is the function of application layer as part of osi human computer application layer which where apps can access the network services app means application network services means internet my application can access 
So this has been done in application layer. After that, when this layer has, work has been done, it will transfer its data to the presentation layer. So what does presentation layer will do? Readable, usable, ensure the data is readable for me. Like if suppose I am, yes. I am writing in English, but you are getting in Urdu. Will you able to understand? No, right? It should be readable. Yes. Yes. Right. So that work is done by this guy, presentation layer, encryption, decryption. Session means one, maintain connections, establish and maintain connections and responsible for controlling ports and sessions. This you will learn later that like it will co connect that suppose I am sending you something. If your laptop is off, off, then I will not able to send, right? Yes, sir. So that means it is, it, it should first check that, okay, something is coming from me and it is going to you, then your laptop should also be on. Then only it will reach. So that is being done or checked in this session layer. If it is not on, it will it will fail. What whatever I will send, it will fail. It will not go. Okay. Yes, sir. Then is a transport layer means segmentation means it will not go in one shot. It will like divide a big data into small chunks and it will send one by one by one by one. Okay. Okay. The network layer means like uh, from uh, from and to IP address. You see IP address we talked right. So what is yes, your sir. IP and what is my IP from where it is coming and where it is going? So that is the deciding the routes, how it will go, which route will go. Suppose I can go from Marathali to KRP in various ways. I can take the outer ring road or I can go to the host port and from the white field I can come and then ITP and go to Marathali, right? That is also a way. Yes, sir. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay, I understood what you're telling, sir. Like uh, my IP address to uh, like your IP address, the message has been going. Message has been going, but with with what route it should take the shortest yeah. route, whichever the shortest path is there from here to there, it should take right. That is the expectation. Mm, yes, sir, yes, sir, got so it. If it takes the shortest route, that means it will reach first. So everybody mm -hmm. wants fast, fast, fast things, right? Like uh, Kerpuram to Marathali, you will take direct bus, not like Whitefield. Uh, exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is the reason I was telling the example. Okay. okay yes, sir. Now, network layer, then data link layer means frame, header to get security checks, pre transition. This is like data are encrypted format so that in between when it is going, it should not get like uh, hacked up. So, no hackers mm -hmm. can take this, right? So, that is the physical layer means as I told you that the computer only understands zero and bits, then it will transfer my complete data into zero and bit and it will transfer to you. Bits in zero and four uh, zero one cable Wi Fi mobile tower may be wired or wireless, whatever. Okay, okay. So, in this way, data gets transferred using means how it is following this OSI model, or I means this is a protocol you can think, or a, a protocol is nothing but a rule, right? Rule is what, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Every, everything has a rule in your house, also, some rule will be there, right? Like, suppose morning you need to get up. You need to have breakfast, then go to college, then come back, then and then do your work, yes. or whatever. Right? It's a protocol. Yeah. It is a protocol. So everywhere has a. The police has a, also a protocol. Like if a thief he caught, then he he has to go to the jail. Case will go and all those. So everything has a protocol. So internet also communication has a protocol or a rule even thing, which is nothing yes, but the OSI model which follows these layers. Okay. Yes, okay. So maybe I will stop here for today. So, do okay. you have any questions for today's lectures? Means uh, whatever we learned today, do you have any doubts mm. you can ask? No issues. Present, present. I don't have any doubts. I just uh, asked few. Yeah. And uh, like after some time, I'm gonna see like some videos which you sent yesterday and today's. Mm. And if I get any doubt in that means I'll just contact you or else uh, I'll just message you. Sir. 